Oh my god, people, I apologize. I completely forgot to do the deck profile for Resonators. Yeah, Stanzi kind of ticked me off so much that uh, I just kind of forgot what I was doing. It really upset me, you know, uh, that my friend would kind of try to screw me over like that for a little joke. But anyway, that's a, that's a different topic. Uh, I was going to go ahead and record the deck profile Resonators after I was done recording with him for the Undo Commentary and Daily Duels, and I it completely slipped my mind. I apologize. I was sitting there looking at Necros, getting ready to do the deck profile for Necros, and I was like, wait a minute. I never did the deck profile for Resonators, so I apologize. Here it is. Uh, it's late. I'm sorry, but uh, at least you still get it. I'm surprised that no one commented and reminded me, like, hey, you know, what is that deck profile for Resonators? But it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. At least in the end, I remembered it. So, anyway, here is deck profile for Resonators. It only got a month on Daily Duels, but it was a fine deck. It's a fun little tag deck. I mean, it's busting out of that abyss with your tag partner playing their plays as well. It's just so much power that it was very enjoyable. Uh, if it got another month, I totally wouldn't mind, but it's totally fine if it didn't. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the deck profile for you guys. i tell you why I played all the cards, why I played them at the numbers that they're being played at. And, uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and take the deck and make it yourselves and make changes to it, then more power to you. So, of course, we run three. Red Wolf. So good. Uh, when a Resonator is normal summon, you special summon this card. It's attack is high, but who cares, because you're gonna synchro summon with it anyway. So, it goes really well with a uh, Sync 8 play with Red Resonator or a Sync 7 play with Synchron Resonator. I mean, that play is there. It's a level 6 that you special summon when you uh, normal summon a Resonator. Let's go. Uh, then we play two Rise Bell. Rise Bell is a pretty interesting card um, that I got from um, Mal. When uh, the deck was chosen, I was like, Mal, send me over your deck. Sent over the deck and I made changes uh, myself, but uh, in the end, uh, what Rise Bell I thought was a really interesting play. When the special summon, I can go ahead and target one face up monster on the field, including itself, and increase its level up to three until the end phase. So, whether it be special summon through emergency teleport because it is a psychic, or special summon through red resonator, uh, it will go ahead and increase its own level by whatever, whether it be, you know, oh, I need to increase its level by five so I can sync with crea uh, creation, or six so I can sync with res red resonator. It is there to go ahead and do synchro play, so that's good. Uh, we run three Garbage Lord. Garbage Lord is a pretty good card. Uh, special Summon Noble uh, 5. Pay 2,000 luck with Special Summon it. And uh, go into them sync uh, 7 plays or, or them sync uh, 8 plays. You know, whether it be like, oh, I opened up Red Resonator, the Garbage Lord, and like a Synchron. I can go ahead Special Summon Garbage Lord, Summon Red Resonator, sync into uh, Clear Wing, Special Summon Synchron Resonator. Bam, there's Crystal Nest right there. And as we know from Thursday Daily Duels with Dragoon, these Crystal Nest is that methamphetamine. Don't fuck around with that, all right? Uh, I mean it when when it comes to the monster and the drug. Don't don't do Crystal Nest, please. <laughs> uh, but uh, Garbage Lord, pretty power. And then we tried to number generate that Garbage uh, Lord with Garbage Ogre. Uh, just cards in your hand. You can do Grave Ride to get a Garbage Lord from your deck. So. Uh, I tried to go ahead and number generate pitch him, get the garbage lord, and go off plays like that. So I had card, I had room for one extra, so I was like, screw it, throw in the garbage lord. We run triple red resonator, uh, arguably one of the better ones, you know, as you can clearly kind of see, these are all the resonators I'm going with. I'm doing with three red, three creation, and three synchron. They each have different levels and each do their own job, but they're great in themselves. Uh, I played the other resonators and I started to dislike them more and more and more and more to the point where I was just like, screw it, I don't need you. I really don't need you. These three will be plenty. So, this card's no summon, you special summon a level 4 lower monster from your hand. Of course, that Rise Bell, do that play. Uh, is probably one of your more go-to monsters when it comes to uh, Sinking 8. When it comes to Red Wolf, it's always Red Wolf, Red Red, and they're both red. Let's go uh, make that Sink 8. Uh, and uh, I don't think I've ever used this uh, second effect, but it doesn't matter because the plays are there, you know. Just summon Red Resonator, summon Red Wolf, Sink 8, special summon Synchron Resonator, and Sink 9. Bam, there's Abyss. Uh, we run three creation resonator uh has more synergy with of course the level five such so as fine but it, it can also make you that powerful powerful if you can summon it uh red nova dragon i've never summoned in daily duels it's only been up for a month so about four duels uh well four videos and uh it would have been great you know just if you have all three of these guys you can just go summon red resonator summon red wolf sync eight special summon this as a three special summon this as a one and then you know up to 12, two tuners plus Red Dragon Archery. Of course, it's Hot Red because he's always, uh, no, no, Scar Right. Scar Right, his name is always is treated as a Red Dragon Archery while on the field. And uh, bam, there is uh, the powerful Red Nova Dragon. So, uh, yeah. So, if you control a face up level five, uh, level 8 or higher synchro, you special on this card from your hand. So, yep. And then, of course, three Synchron Resonators. Synchron Resonator is great as 
as well for a control super monster, special, special summon it from my hand, discard sent from the field center of graveyard, I can target one resonator monster at my graveyard and add it back to my hand. So there's been plenty of times where I'm like red, summon wolf, sink eight into, you know, hot or scar rice special summon, sink into abyss, which is of course one tuner plus one non-tuner dark dragon type synchro monster. So one of these uh, one of these guys. And then of course Synchro will go ahead and give me my red back to my hand so that play is also great as well. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let me run it. Two Ghost Ochre Snow Rabbits. I decided to go with two uh, just in case. Uh, same reason why I go with two uh, Farm Girls when it comes to playing Cosmos. Uh, if I want to go ahead and special summon it with Emergency Teleport, I want to make sure that one's in my deck. While well, it's nice to go ahead and have her in my hand as well for her effect, I don't want to number generate her. So just in case I need to special summon her through uh, Emergency Teleport, it's there for me to summon. So two rise bells, two ghost ogres with two emergency teleport. So one down to two, I mean that's fine. I can still play with two, at least it's not at one, so yeah. And we got one upstart because it went down to one. So one upstart, one regeki, one soul charge, just you know, win more. Triple turn twister, go ahead and uh, pop that back row, because yeah, I want to clear up that back row ASAP. And then three resonator calls, because we have nine targets and whatever resonator I need to turn time, resonator call can go ahead and add me that resonator. Uh, so that's good. Then three emergency teleports. You can see our target. We have, of course, the one Norton because he's at one. The one thousand restrict. Just in case I need him, I think he actually saved us in one duel. So that's nice. And then the Panzer Dragon, which is of course another institution uh, level five. So just go institution seven Panzer and then sink eight if need be, or seven or whatever. Uh, then uh, traps are in one bottomless, one warning, one vanities. I'm starting to take vanities out of decks because it gets really boring just to flip up vanities and win. So I've been starting to take it out of decks, you might have noticed, but I had a lot of extra room in here, so I was like, fuck it, you know, let's win more vanities. And of course, triple solemn strike because solemn strike is just solemn strike. Alright, extra deck, I already talked about it. Norton, Panzer, uh, another strike. Just in case my tag partner has a level 4 in the graveyard and I'm like, you know what, screw it, emergency play, because you don't see a lot of fours in here. I can go insta fusion summon Norton, Norton summon back a level four that my pack partner has, make Castell. I had room was like screw it, I want to make sure that Castell is in there. But of course Norton can summon me uh level two, sync six, sync seven, sync five, so there's no fives in here. Uh I probably could have put a sync five, but I was like, eh, I'm not really gonna be doing that play. There's no fours in here. So the only way I'd be able to go five is Norton summon uh Synchron Resonator, so I was like, screw it, I'd opt out of it. Uh, one Red Wyvern, the go-to Sync uh, 6 for this deck. Uh, clear Wing, Sync 7. Uh, if you can go ahead and summon Clear Wing, special summon that Synchron Resonator. There's uh, Methamphetamine, Crystal Math. Uh, another Sync 7, Black Rose, just in case I need to do it. Uh, two Scar Rites with one Hot Red. Uh, you guys will be, you will be using these, whether it be just for themselves or um, up in, upgrading them into higher synchro plays, so you want to make sure you have a nice ratio. So I was like two one, especially since this guy is a uh, named Red Resonator. Two Abyss. Uh, Abyss is very powerful. Uh, once per turn during the player's turn, I can target a face-up card. My opponent controls and get its effect till it, the end of this turn. That includes a uh, reactionary card. So for for example, my opponent activates Regeki, I can chain and negate that Regeki. So that's power. Thirty-two hundred beater. Uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, I can go ahead and target one tuner monster in the graveyard special, summon it. Defense boat uh, is pretty powerful, especially if uh, Ghost Ogre is in the graveyard. I can go ahead and summon that Ghost Ogre, which of course can uh, use the effect uh, possibly during my opponent's turn to fuck up and mess up their plays. Uh, we run one uh, Bane. I don't think I've ever summoned him in the duel, but it's pretty much an upgrade of Abyss. Uh, you just sync Abyss with a level 1 tuner, summon Bane. Uh, I believe he's coming out in the TCG soon as an OCG import in um, Shining Victory. So if you're running a Resonator deck, make sure you pick him up. Uh, you tribute one monster, then target a Red Archery in the Graveyard, summon it. So pretty much if you can make him and then have a monster in the field, tribute it off, summon back your Abyss that you used to make him. That way you have a 32 beater and a 35 beater. And this guy's a little bit different when he inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You put summon two tuners uh, with the same level, one from your deck and one from your uh, graveyard, so that's pretty powerful as well. One Red Nova Dragon, like I said, I never made him, but he's powerful as well. Uh, Gains 5 attack for each tuner monster in the graveyard. There are a lot of tuners. There's all of this. There's, a, what, 11 tuners in this deck, so that's power. And, uh, it cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effect. It could be nice if it's just unaffected by opponent's card effect. A lot of cards are getting that nowadays, but, uh, yeah. And then when it destroys, uh, when it's opponent's monster, it declares an attack, uh, that target the attacking monster, banish this card, and I can block the attack. Uh, so, eh. And then I'll come back during the demo phase. So blocking attack's not terrible. 
So, uh, yeah, there you go. There is the Resonator deck profile. Like I said, I apologize for just missing it. Like I said, I was just not in the mood to record videos at the time. It's a good thing that I got the end of commentary and daily duels in time. So, uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll be going ahead and doing the Zushin deck for the first time. Uh, also giving you guys the deck profile for uh, Necros and then uh, Fake Card Friday, of course. And, uh, yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that Resonators was on. Like I said, I apologize for being late. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how Zushin goes. All right, people, thanks for watching.